In this video, we will quickly recap how to compute shear stress using the shear formula. Step 1. Determine the internal shear force, V, at the cross-section along the beam that shear stress is to be determined. We can do this by two ways. First, the method of sections. We have our beam, the transverse load, and find external reactions, the section at the location of interest. And then we find internal reactions using equilibrium equations. So the normal force, the shear force, and the internal bending moment. Or two, we can draw a shear force diagram. for the given loading. Step two, compute section properties. This includes the moment of inertia of the section, I. We also have to find Q which we know is the integral of y over dA prime, the section area, which is also equal to y prime bar times a prime. And this can be left as a function of y if necessary to solve for the stress distribution later in a problem. And finally, step three, we want to apply the shear formula, which we know is tau equals to vq over it, units wise. You usually find V in newtons or kilonewtons, Q in millimeter cubed, I in millimeter to the four, and T is in millimeters. So if we sub this into our equation for tau, you will have newtons and millimeter cubed over millimeter to the four, times millimeter. And this simplifies to Newton over millimeter square, which we know as MPA.